Many medical experts, including me, believe that North Americans are way overprescribed prescription medication for attention deficit disorder. But besides those who may indeed fit the criteria for ADHD prescription medication, an epidemic threatens the health of millions. Students are getting hooked on smart drugs. Recent reports in the Journal of Attention Disorders and Current Psychiatry reports show that about 1 in 10 who don't have the diagnosis of attention deficit disorder abuse the prescription drugs that are prescribed to treat ADHD, including the drug Adderall. These prescription drugs, they commonly circulate campuses across North America, affectionately referred to as study buddies. But these scholastic steroids are being acquired illegally. Now, taking prescription medication, which is not prescribed to you, that's risking unfortunate side effects, which in this case can include serious addiction, psychosis, stroke, and even death. We are born in a society where the environment is conducive to promoting an attention deficit. There are more things to do in less time than we have to do them in, and more external stimuli than our nervous systems were even equipped to deal with. This leaves many people frazzled, hyperactive, and lacking the necessary focus and attention to complete modern day tasks and workloads. An all natural, non-addictive ingredient that improves focus and can serve as a study aid is desperately needed. What's not very common knowledge is that can be found right here in a coffee shop. Most North Americans would give up almost anything else other than their morning cup of joe. I personally love a cup of organic espresso with the perfect crema. You know, drinking it daily has many health benefits, as long as you don't drink too much of it. But it's not coffee in this form that I'm talking about when it comes to improving your focus and attention. What I'm talking about is the coffee bean. Specifically, I'm talking about the green coffee bean, not the extract. Rather, I want to point your attention toward the whole green coffee powder, WGCP. An average cup of roasted coffee has about 160 milligrams of caffeine with the strongest effects lasting about 30 minutes. Coffee drinkers are quite familiar with the caffeine jolt and the occasional jitters if too much is consumed, but whole green coffee powder won't give you that effect. And that is part of the magic, the slow release of the caffeine from the whole bean powder, along with all the right ingredients that remain intact in the natural non-roasted form. Whole green coffee powder has a long list of health benefits, including natural weight loss, a smoother and longer lasting energy, and a powerful antioxidant protection. Not to mention that some preliminary reports demonstrate that green coffee may also reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. But it's the boosted concentration without side effects that has me all really excited. Let me make the distinction between roasted coffee, whole green coffee powder, and green coffee extract and really drive that home. Roasted bean lacks all the natural ingredients useful for weight loss and in particular for focus and attention because they've essentially been roasted out. Green coffee bean extract, that contains the ingredient chlorogenic acid and it has been shown to aid in weight loss. However, compelling evidence shows us that weight loss results may be significantly better when chlorogenic acid is combined with caffeine. Whole green coffee powder, WGCP, is the entire green coffee bean ground into a capsule using every part of the raw green coffee bean. The end product captures all of the nutrients that are in the unroasted green coffee bean, which yields overall better results for weight loss, but also seems to improve focus and attention, acting like a natural study aid. Now, the additional magic with whole green coffee bean is that, that it's the time release effect of the caffeine found naturally within it. It's slow to release because the caffeine is deep within the cellulose and the fiber of the coffee bean. One innovative company called GoBean, they own a patented process pending for manufacturing green coffee products from the entire bean. Unlike most caffeinated products that cause a spike and then a crash, Whole green coffee powder enables a person to study six hours without that crash. You know, anyone can make a caffeine pill. And there are more than enough energy drinks on the market. But let me tell you something about all new research that has shown that whole green coffee powder is so much more than just caffeine.
I see many patients, young and old, who have challenges with diagnosed attention deficit disorder. I've had significant success by increasing their DHA levels using high-dose omega-3 fish oils, optimizing their diets to remove offending agents and intolerances, and of course supplementing any discovered micronutrient deficiencies. I also talk to a lot of folks who are interested in simply optimizing their overall health and mental acuity. So what really excites me is when I come across products like whole green coffee bean powder supported by evidence because it means that I can literally improve the quality of life for these patients. Go Bean. It's an evidence-based certified organic product that I can feel really good about recommending. It's an all-natural study aid that's safe for people over the age of 18 who are not allergic to or have trouble taking caffeinated products. Regardless of the fact there is no prescription necessary, I also strongly urge that parents or guardians who'd like to try whole green coffee powder with children under the age of 18 first consult with their doctor or physician. Now, statistics show us that up to half or 50% of adolescents and teens consume energy drinks which serve no therapeutic value. Liquid energy drinks and products as well as water-soluble energy products, including caffeine pills, deliver caffeine too quickly. Over time, this can burn out the adrenal glands, which are in charge of the body stress response. And excess stress is already North America's number one silent killer, contributing to heart disease, stroke, and even cancer. The whole green coffee powder, however, releases caffeine very slowly enabling a person's dopamine, the feel-good reward neurochemical, to replenish itself before the positive effect wears off. And this won't hinder the adrenal glands, and that's why you never feel jittery and you won't crash. Now think about it this way. In the same way that we've come to learn about the glycemic index of foods, and that's the speed at which a sugar comes from a given carbohydrate and enters the bloodstream, there's also something known as the caffeine index. And this is in foods which represent the speed at which caffeine enters the system. The granularity of coffee, green coffee in particular, derived from the fine-grained pulverizing process specific to gobine, realizes caffeine and chlorogenic acid gradually, acting in an extended time-release delivery. It's purported to be very well tolerated and evidence of the side effects reported in the current literature available is very positive. Because organic whole green coffee powder is a raw superfood, it's safe to take every day. Let me show you now how you know what to look for when you're shopping at your local health food store. One of the first things you might see these days when you walk into a health food store is green coffee extract. There have been a lot of questions about this extract, so I'm really here to set the record straight. The recent evidence does support the idea that green coffee extract can help shed some pounds and maintain a healthy weight. Organic whole green coffee powder contains the ingredients chlorogenic acid and caffeine that will also help you drop some pounds and maintain that healthy weight and improve focus and attention as I've been telling you. There are many companies out there selling green coffee extracts for weight loss and not all of them have great reputations. But the most important thing to keep in mind and for the best results is you want both chlorogenic acid and caffeine bound within the whole powder. The dose of caffeine is also very important. The optimal WGCP adult dose seems to be most effective when it's taken between 150 to 165 milligram caffeine equivalent. As always, you need to check the label to make sure you're getting more than just the extract. Ensure that the label reads WGCP or whole green coffee powder, the ingredient that's recently supported to support attention. This is what you'll get in the GoBean product. And don't try grinding green coffee beans at home. There are safety risks in doing that, not to mention it probably won't really work. And let me once again caution anyone taking Adderall. Keep in mind, this is a drug, prescription drug, that should only be consumed if it's prescribed by a doctor who has made an accurate diagnosis. Besides the health risks, you take a chance getting caught and face a possible drug conviction. You don't need to risk all that you've worked so hard for when there's already a natural, safe, an effective alternative. My bottom line, I give whole green coffee powder a grade A for its focus and attention support.